So we do a lot of activities with dry ice, solid carbon dioxide. And what, what you typically talk about when you're demonstrating dry ice is why it's dry. The fact that it doesn't melt. The solid at 110 degrees uh, below zero Fahrenheit converts directly from a solid to a gas. We call that sublimation. The opposite of that, by the way, is called deposition. When you cool down carbon dioxide gas to 110 degrees below zero, it will deposit directly from a gas to a solid. Now, that's true at normal atmospheric pressure, but it is possible to melt dry ice, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate right now. I'm going to uh, actually make carbon dioxide melt. And to do that, what we need to do is raise the pressure. You could think of it this way. Um, as, the, as the solid molecules of carbon dioxide warm up, they try to escape as gas molecules. What we're going to do is we're going to squeeze those gas molecules so hard that we, we, we literally squeeze the molecules so close together that they become a liquid. And we're going to use their own gas pressure to do that. So for this experiment, I'm going to put some warm water in a beaker. This is something you really have to do close up. You can't see this from far away. Uh, but we're going to put some warm water in this beaker. It does make a mess, by the way. It's going to make a splash. And we're going to use a disposable plastic pipette. I'm going to take a pair of scissors, and I'm just going to snip the end off. And then I'm going to take a hammer and pulverize some dry ice for it to be a powder. And I'm going to put the powder into the pipette. get some powder and actually run the pipette through there a couple of times until we pack it full of a fair amount of solid carbon dioxide. So we now have solid carbon dioxide in there. It's warming up because the room is warm and turning into gas. What I'm going to do is take a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm going to bend this over and pinch it with the pliers very tightly. That's going to trap the gas inside. As the solid warms, and I'm going to put just a little more in there, as the solid warms and turns to gas, that gas pressure is going to build up inside this plastic pipette. If I don't let it escape, that pressure is going to increase considerably. And it'll actually blow up the pipette like a balloon and eventually pop it or explode. But just before that happens, if you watch closely, you're going to see the solid carbon dioxide melt and become liquid. And the instant it pops, hopefully the water won't splash around too much, um, if you look closely, you'll actually see the liquid carbon dioxide freeze into solid again. So let's see if we can do that. Now, this is, this is one where uh, you want to wear safety glasses. I've got some glasses on here. I'm going to do this underwater, so that's going to confine the explosion. But it's going to be messy. It's going to splash all over the place. So what I'm going to do, I've got the solid carbon dioxide. I'm going to pinch it off and really hold it tightly with my pliers. And I'm going to put it in the warm water. That's going to speed everything up. And if you watch closely, just before it explodes, you should see the carbon dioxide melt. There we go. And froze again. So hopefully that works out. If not, I'm going to make another version of the video, but we're going to get this sooner or later. Hope you enjoyed seeing carbon dioxide melt. So you just witness carbon dioxide liquids. Next time somebody tells you carbon dioxide can never exist as a liquid, you can tell them differently.